This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. Anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube album stuff. So you get the videos, I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing that data. But like I tell you every day, the day they release us is false. When they give us a false narrative of the market, so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, you know, I was kind of in silent silent mode yesterday because of CSI's dad. I'm going to tell you something. And I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell AMC. I can't even say Ape anymore because we all know Ape is no longer for sale technically. But I'm sure there's probably trillions of apes floating around out there, probably in Brazil. But, you know, that's another story. But here's the thing. 45 days on a threshold list. Cost of borrow out of control. And not just that. Imagine they had like 4 million shares available to short. So that means technically if it wasn't for the reverse split, they would have had 40 million, 40 million kind of shares available to short. But, but they shorted like 13 million shares. Okay, and y'all might say, well, 13 million shares is nothing, Donahue. But here's the thing. Without the 10 to 1 reverse split, that would have been 130 million counterfeit AMC shares that they shorted into the market. Listen, and I know a lot of people are not going to like this. Good morning. I believe the squeeze is still on the table. And I know the, the, they're going to be telling me, yo, what are you talking about? They just took up, took away 90% of their counterfeit shares. The pressure is off them. The pressure is not off of them. And here's why. They actually returned 71 million shares Friday. 71 million shares. Now, you might think that's nothing. But with a 10 to 1 reverse split, the entire flow should be like 56 million shares. So they returned more shares than the entire float. And retail investors are still buying them up. How can they return <laughs> more shares than the entire float? And the SEC, the DTCC, FINRA, Department of Justice doesn't see a problem. Okay. Think about how crazy that is. There's only supposed to be a hundred cars available. And somehow I turn in 130 cars. And nobody says, there must be some counterfeit cars out there. Anybody who doesn't see the fraud and corruption associated with AMC is in on the Ponzi scheme. They're in on the Ponzi scheme. Even with the 10th one reverse split, they are still deeply in trouble. The fare to the livers have not stopped. The, the, the short interest is down a little bit, but, but that's what they report to us. I tell y'all that every day. What they report to us is totally irrelevant. You can tell by what's going on in the market. The cost of borrowers what like 800%. You got a 10 to 1 reverse split. You eliminated 90% of your shares. And the cost of borrowers still high. Why? Because y'all created billions. Maybe trillions of counterfeit AMC shares. And y'all are still stuck. And, and just my opinion. It doesn't even matter if we all sold. They couldn't buy them all back. Because they don't have the cash. Even at these prices. And now that I'm thinking about it in more detail, there probably are trillions, trillions of counterfeit AMC shares. That's how deep this Ponzi scheme went. They expected it to go bankrupt and it didn't. And now that we're profitable, what are they gonna do? Can AMC go to zero? Highly unlikely. How does a company go to zero that's making money? Unless the CEO, and the board intentionally tank it.
I mean, that's the only other explanation. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. How do you return 71 million shares when the float is only 56 million shares? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.